Yo guys, Jane's Random Reviews here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to start streaming using Streamlabs OBS. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and techie reviews on Saturdays, so if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention, I stream on twitch.tv slash jadencourier, links down below in the video description below. If you have a question about anything I talk about in this video, or just want to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you go ahead and download Streamlabs OBS. OBS. I will leave a link down below in the video description below. Now once you've downloaded Streamlabs OBS, it's going to look something like this. It's not going to be perfectly identical to mine because this is what I primarily use for streaming. You're not going to have all this on the left hand side, but you will have a new scene. So on the far left hand side, we have our scenes. Scenes are basically folders and inside the folders, there's sources. So scenes have sources inside them. And to add sources, it's gonna be in the middle. And then the far right, you're gonna have your mixer. This is gonna show your mic volume as well as your desktop audio. So let's go ahead and start adding the basics that you need to start streaming. First off, you're gonna to wanna to just click on the plus bar and we're gonna add a display capture. Once you've done that, click add source. Now I've already added a display capture, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the same process. It'll look something like this. You can rename it to whatever you'd like and just click add source. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you select the right monitor. If you're using two monitors, you wanna make sure you select the right one. Once you've done that, all you gotta do is click done. And there you go, we've added a display capture. Pretty simple. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is add your mic. So click on the plus bar and then go down to audio input capture. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on the add source. Now, same thing for me. This is what it's gonna look like for you guys. You can name it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna click add source, and then you're gonna to wanna to select the microphone that you're using. In my case, I've already had one selected, so I'm just gonna be doing default for now. Now, we already have our display capture and our microphone added, but if you have a webcam and you would like to add it, all you gotta do is click on the plus bar, go over to video capture device, click add source. Once you've done that, you can name it whatever you'd like click add source, select the webcam that you are gonna be using. In my case, I've already added mine, so I'm not gonna be adding it. But once you've selected it, it's gonna select the device. It'll pop up with your webcam. All you gotta do is click on done. That is very optional. You don't have to add a webcam, but if you have one and you'd like to add one, you can go ahead and do that. Next, let's take a look at some of the important settings needed to start streaming. You're gonna wanna go down to the bottom left corner where you're gonna see settings. Then you're gonna wanna go up to stream. All, make sure you're gonna to go to stream type. You wanna select streaming services. You're gonna to wanna to select which service you're gonna be streaming to, whether it's YouTube or Twitch. In my case, I'm gonna be showing you guys Twitch. Don't worry about any of these. And then you're gonna to wanna to go down to stream key. Now, in order to find your stream key, all you simply gotta do, head over to Twitch, click on your icon, go down to settings, click on channel and videos, and then it's gonna be right here under preferences inside of settings. All you gotta do is simply click copied, then go back to Streamlabs OBS, paste it right here. If you're having trouble pasting it, you can do copy and paste, uh, control C, control V, or you can right click and hit copy and then go back to here and then select it and paste it inside of Streamlabs OBS. I know some people do have trouble pasting their stream key, but I hope that was helpful. Next, you're gonna go to output. Now you're first gonna see video bitrate and bitrate is based off how good your internet speed is. So a good way to kind of find out what your internet speed is, is simply go to speed, test.net all you got to simply do is click go if your upload speed is anything above 10 to 15 you can pretty much be solved with around a four to five thousand bit rate if it's anything above 20 25 you could play around and try to get into five thousand to six thousand now it all kind of depends you might want to mess around a little bit try out different bit rates see which one works best Next, if we go down to encoder, I would 100% recommend using NVENC, specifically new. Next, you're gonna wanna go to quality. I recommend just keeping this at quality. Unless you have really good internet, you can set it to max quality. Next, you're gonna click on video. Now, this is gonna be your output resolution to either Twitch or YouTube. Now, when it comes to base canvas resolution, this is gonna be the output of your monitor. So in my case, my monitor is 1080p. But let's say you had a 720p monitor, you could select that as well. But most monitors are 1920 by 1080. Next, if you go down to the output resolution, this is what the quality of your stream is going to be when it's broadcast through either Twitch or YouTube. 
So what a lot of people do and what works well for a lot of people is 1280 by 720. This works really well because half the time people that are going to be watching your stream are going to be on their phone. And if they're using a phone, it may be hard to render out a 1080p live stream. Next, you're going to want to make sure you're se selecting 32 samples, do common as FPS value, and then make sure your stream is at 60 FPS. This is super important. And once you've done that, you're all set and good to go. All you got to do is click go live. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and you learned how to start streaming using Streamlabs OBS. If you did go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe down below for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, we're so dead right now. Oh my goodness, you're so bad. Give me all that, baby. Let's go get this loot now.